Hi guys, spent our Ramadan with us and today I need some reinforcement in the house. Also, I'm going to share with you some eat shopping, some cooking. So stay with me. There's loads of fun in this video. I've started my vlog very early this morning. I feel like this time I couldn't even see properly. Everything is so blurry because I slept very late and then I have to wake up for sahur. So I'm making a very simple uh, sahur this morning. I have a little bit more of an appetite this morning so I am making some fried egg, toast and my chia pudding as well. So for chia pudding I don't really make it really fancy, just chia seed in the milk and I'm taking my vitamins as well. So this vlog hopefully you will see is kind of a very uh, productive, very relaxed and very calm as well. So usually after sour I do my prayers and if I have to go to work I go to my bedroom and sleep but now since we are on our holidays I just stay downstairs and then I don't know what time I fall asleep and when I woke up I quickly um, get ready for the day and now let's start a productive day. Today my girls are at grandparents house so this day should be really productive day for me but it just turned out a day into cleaning and cooking but I love uh, days like this. It's calm and relaxing. If you don't know me I love cooking and cleaning and yes you heard it right I'm one of those people but I only like to do it when I want to do it. And I also want to share with you my Ramadan, especially this 2024. This is my first Ramadan in this house. Um, which good habits I have adopted during this Ramadan and which one I really struggle. So the first one I'd really want to share is waking up early. I always like to wake up early, but it doesn't happen all the time. Some days when I just want to relax, I stay in bed till 12, especially if my children are not home. So I take this opportunity and rest as much as I can but the days like this when I wake up early and I do all the stuff I feel like these are the best days and in Ramadan I have a, such a good routine so I just want to keep it like this now quickly I'm going to show you with you my parcels as well so this is the blender that I have ordered I also got loads of um, hair oil as well for myself I think in my previous video somebody asked me about my hair routine so if you want a nice long healthy hair you should be oiling your scalp massaging oil, oil into your scalp allowing it to sit there and it has loads of benefits so whenever you have a time especially on the weekend I I usually massage my hair every weekend. I don't really have any specific routine. Just massage your hair with a good oil and you will see the benefits. Um, I'm also in this Ramadan working on myself, learning more about Islam. And these Sheikh Umar Suleiman series Ramadan especially series is so good. I kind of like whenever I'm home, especially at when it's iftar time, I usually put them on with my children as well. So we kind of enjoy listening to them. So even you haven't started them, do watch them. They're really good. And they are, he's a very knowledgeable person. And the way he explained things, it's so good. Um, now I'm going upstairs. And also, as I said in the, my previous video, I'm going to share with you my eat clothes. And especially, I'm doing something a little bit special for my children today. So while I'm cleaning, I'm going upstairs as well. So let's go upstairs and I will show you my eat clothes and my children eat clothes. So I hope this will give you idea as well. So if you are a little bit behind in eat shopping or you're struggling what to buy. So let's watch it together first. I haven't captured or like record all my house cleaning video because I feel like sometimes it gets boring. So I am want to entertain you guys as well a little bit while I give you cleaning motivation as well. So in this vlog you will see a lot. I'm going to show you my eat shopping, cleaning and also I'm going to do a little bit cooking as well. I'm going to show you my very simple iftar table as well. So while I'm cleaning my room. At this point I was a little bit lazy so I've just found a wipe and I just start cleaning with the wipes so don't tell me I'm the only one who sometimes uh, clean the things with the wipes because the cleaning products were downstairs and to be honest the wipes are really good when it comes to the cleaning as long as the jobs are done and my house is clean this is what I want either if it this is with the wipe or the cleaning products 
and now um, I've just quickly wiped down everything on the side and then I'm gonna make my bed and then I'm gonna share with you my eat clothes first and then the my little ones but first before I do that I think I have to do the vacuum as well I didn't know that I recorded this as well but while this is in the video so let's watch it I have shared with you my reviews for this vacuum in the last video so if you haven't watched that video do check it out you will like it if you are searching for the new vacuum so I just came near the camera so I just want to zoom in and this is my first eat dress I'm keeping it very simple i got really casual dresses so i can wear them in the summer as well and in the normal everyday as well this one is my favorite purple is my favorite color and i feel like whenever i wear purple it does suit me as well um so yes i got a little belt as well around the waist and it's like a, a chiffon material and this is the cotton one this is a proper summer dress but i really liked it the way it has pleats in the middle and the um, and on the sleeves as well now let me show you my children eat uh, bag so i kind of really like this tradition i want to keep it and i think i'm gonna do this every eat so i've got these little bits and bobs for them for my girls and my girls are proper girly girl the pot bombs for special eat and this is my son's trainers so and this is his bag so he kind of in that age where he wants to wear the comfortable clothes so i've got him like his favorite jacket that he really wanted and also his favorite kind of track bottoms as well that he wanted to buy because he's keeping all his fast so whatever he wants to wear i just kind of did the way he likes so this is for my girls i've got them eat bags to keep the easy and also the shoes and they are obsessed with the frozen they got frozen shoes and the frozen dress i didn't buy them this frozen dress i think it was from their auntie but this year finally it will fit them and they're gonna use this year that frozen dress and also this is the black dress from my mom she got them this and they both got the same to be honest i am beyond excited even excited than my children so i think i'm gonna keep this tradition for them on every eat to make it special and i want to make it a very special occasion for them so they kind of understand why we celebrate eat and what is the importance of eat and um, so i am showing you this my idea is behind if you are a little bit delay in eat shopping or if you got everything just put in the nice uh, like uh, bag or in the box make it special for them and give them on eat day or day before to see the children expression and make a eat a very special occasion for them and now i'm going to quickly make the iftar or iftar it was only me and my son today at home so i'm making sweet and sour chicken with egg fried rice and then you will see as well what did i do in my kitchen today honestly i didn't know how i carried on after that incident but i am one of those people doesn't matter what's happening i try to keep myself calm as much as i can <laughs> but the things like that happen so quickly i first um coated my chicken in the um plain flour with some salt and some spices and then now i'm gonna fry the chicken um, sorry it's onions and peppers and you can see what's going to happen now i just didn't know how quickly that happened and how did i manage to even start cooking again i didn't record all because i was kind of in a shock what happened in one second and i was like very very scared one this is one of the things that makes me really scared the fire and because my kitchen is like it's got wood everywhere on the floor on the roof like all the wood cabinets and i was like god forbid and if something would happen today and i was just so thankful to allah that he saved and sometimes you know like when these little incidents happens you kind of it just scared you as well and then it's prepared you for the next time to be careful because when i was doing when you make this chinese food especially sweet and sour chicken and also the egg fried rice you have to do it like a full flame and the full flame was on under the pan and then i didn't realize it was proper hot as well and i quickly put the onions and peppers in the pan and it's just the fire went everywhere quickly um it wasn't that bad but that 
it was just so scary um, but alhamdulillah we are fine <laughs> i just managed to finish off my cooking so for today iftar is very simple and uh, alhamdulillah uh, we made i made not we actually i made this <laughs> so i made some egg fried rice sweet sour chicken and also my favorite mango lassi as well today i was cra craving for mango lassi i can't even take my words out and i also got some spring rolls as well and now this is my final uh, iftar table so it was only me and my son at home today we kind of really enjoyed our iftar thank you so much for watching keep supporting and i will hopefully you will hear me in the next video